In this video, I will be comparing the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX and the AMD Ryzen 7 6800H, highlighting their differences, and then providing a conclusion to assist you in determining which one is the better choice. Both of these are processors from AMD, but they differ significantly in terms of their target audience, performance, and price. So, let's delve into them. The Ryzen 7 6800U was released one year after the release of the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Both of these processors have 8 performance cores and 16 performance threads. The base clock frequency of the Ryzen 9 5900HX is 3.3 GHz, while that of the Ryzen 7 6800H is 3.2 GHz. So, it appears that the Ryzen 9 slightly outperforms on normal CPU loads. The boost clock frequency of the Ryzen 7 6800H is 4.7 GHz, compared to 4.6 GHz for the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Thus, under heavy CPU loads, the Ryzen 7 May performs slightly better. However, it's important to note that processor performance does not depend solely on base and boost frequencies, other factors must also be considered. The L1, L2, and L3 cache sizes of these processors are respectively 64 kilobytes per shared, 512 kilobytes per shared, and 16 megabytes shared. Both of them support up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. This Ryzen 7 6800H supports DDR5 and LPDDR5 modules, whereas the Ryzen 9 5900HX supports DDR4 and LPDDR4 modules. Additionally, the memory frequency of the Ryzen 7 is greater than that of the Ryzen 9. Both of them support integrated graphics. Furthermore, the maximum frequency graphics of the Ryzen 7 6800H is greater than that of the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Therefore, for graphical tasks as well, the Ryzen 7 6800H might perform better. The Ryzen 9 5900HX supports ECC, whereas the Ryzen 7 6800H does not. Therefore, for critical systems like workstations and servers, the Ryzen 9 is preferable. The Ryzen 7 6800H supports PCI version 4, whereas the Ryzen 9 5900HX only supports PCI version 3. Additionally, the number of PCI lanes supported by the Ryzen 7 is greater than that of the Ryzen 9. Slightly, the Ryzen 9 5900HX can withstand higher temperatures than the Ryzen 7 6800H. The TDP of the Ryzen 9 5900HX is configurable and ranges from 35 to 54 watts, whereas that of the Ryzen 7 6800H is fixed at 45 watts. Since the Ryzen 7 6800H uses a 6 nanometers process, it could potentially offer better battery life compared to the 7 nanometers process of the 5900HX. Benchmarks generally indicate that the Ryzen 7 6800H slightly outperforms the 5900HX due to its newer architecture and improved efficiency. Choose for the Ryzen 7 6800H for newer architecture, slightly superior multi-core performance, and possible extended battery life, based on laptop design. Choose for the Ryzen 9 5900HX if you value single-core performance or if you find it at a considerably lower price, while still enjoying robust overall performance.